135 pound title fighters. First fighting out of the top, the Farmers Insurance Thomas Swenson Red Coat. From Tribes, Mixed Martial Arts in Fort Collins, Colorado. Please make welcome David O'Brien. And now, fighting out of the last cop, Tanner Luther. From Factory X, Billy Tai in Denver, Colorado. This 135 pounds out about a schedule for three three minute rounds. We're up for you as quick as thrashing. We start the second half of the show off with the 135 pound title fight. David O'Brien is wearing the black and silver representing Trials MMA. Facing off against his opponent across the cage wearing the black trunks, Mr. Yusuf Zalal. Mr. Zalal represents Factory X. Ron, we say it all the time, these two camps, a couple of the best in Colorado and we are getting treated to something special here. Yeah, as soon as I saw that this fight was announced, I was psyched. The, the, the story behind David O'Brien is truly one of, of miracles, you know, for, for lack of better terms. We're going to get more into that later on. Go ahead, JR. And Zalal doing a great job of trying to defend here. Has one knee underneath him, but O'Brien able to kick that supporting knee out. Scrambling for back control. Zalal trying to turn in, but not able to get back to his feet yet. It was a really nice job of O'Brien capitalizing on the slip. They came together to the center of the cage, traded kicks, and just a little off-balance slip for Zalal, and he's paying for it right now as O'Brien's trying to work his way into back control. Uh, I see one hook threaded in real strong. His right hook is not in place, but he's almost under the chin from what I can see, Ron. Yeah, yeah. He's He was working a, a very good angle, but Zalal having the wherewithal to, to feel and sense that and uh, shucked the chin, uh, his chin to the other side to, to avoid the choke. But David O'Brien doing a really nice job of controlling the fight so far at this point. And O'Brien going to try to wrap up the double leg here. Zalal able to pull one leg free, tries to limp leg out of the single attempt, then drops down to roll for the knee bar. Let's see how that goes for Zalal here, because the problem with that is you have to commit both hands and you usually end up getting punched in the face for your efforts. If you've never had a chance to see both of these guys fight, you're in for a treat. These guys are both literally superstars in the making in Colorado here, and these guys will both move on to bigger and better things. Um, these guys are two of the, uh, the funnest fighters that we have so far in Colorado. They are the future. And Zalal trying to wrap up the Kimura hand position, and that shuts down what O'Brien's trying to do as far as his punching attack, as he has to use both hands in order to defend, and Zalal with a nice transition here, trying to roll himself through, see if he can straighten out that arm. And he's going to end up in a bad position because he had to let go of the Kimura attempt. And we talked about both of these camps, JR. Uh, Zalal is debuting his first fight with Factory X Fight Team. Um, he was with the American Top Team prior to this and then now has moved on to the Factory X team. And, and obviously, we all know the, the, the incredible improvements that we've seen in the Trials Martial Arts team from the last 16 to 18 months. These guys have just turn the fight game upside down here in Colorado. Yeah, they really put studs in the cage every time that they come out, that's for sure. And in the scramble, O'Brien tried for back control. Zalal just continues to move, not letting himself be a stationary target on the ground. For as long as they've spent on the ground, uh, there's been so much movement and action that there's really been very minimal striking on the ground. And I hear the 10-second clacker, so we're going to take this title fight here to round number two. Both of these guys have done a really nice job of being able to avoid problems and that's the end of the first round. Good first round for both of these guys. Let's get back to David O'Brien here. I had the pleasure of chatting with uh, Jared Hardy behind the, behind the scenes here, or backstage a little bit. And uh, the story of David O'Brien is really one that, that can bring you to tears. Um, this kid has, has had a, a hell of an upbringing, and he has literally, we say it all the time, fighting solves and saves lives you know if it, it fighting solves everything but it does save lives and and david o'brien is a, is, a, is a prime example of that that story and those types of stories and and he he really couldn't be under better tutelage than than under the 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 watchful eye of ryan schultz and and just just the way that he's been able to really transition trials martial arts um, from from what it was a couple of years ago is nothing short of of amazing here in Colorado. But both of these guys are coming in here to the second round. 
very, very close first round, JR. What did you, what did you see? I saw O'Brien control and position on the ground, and that's probably why I'd score round one for O'Brien. Standing Agreed. action, pretty equal. Um, not a lot in the way of submission attempts. You know, a couple, nothing that I would say was really deep. Oh, and a big jumping knee lands for Zalal, and it knocked out the mouthpiece of O'Brien in for his troubles. O'Brien gives him a belly-to-back suplex. And look at the toughness shown by David O'Brien. I mean, he ate a monster knee in that. Almost sunk in a deep choke right there on Yusuf Zalal, but Zalal again showing that that ability to, to really sense that 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 tightness coming underneath his chin. And yeah, good job switching off back and forth between working for position, striking, and going for submission attempts by Zalal. And we talked about it after round one. These guys are just nonstop action. Go, go, go. And, of course, that's what you expect in 135-pound fight. Now triangle armbar combination. Oh, coming in here for O'Brien. Zalal's going to want to try to step over, see if he can get himself into a better position where his arm's not lined up straight between the hips like that because the elbow's in deep. Uh, the other thing that Zalal can do is try to pull that arm out, and he's got the elbow out. Out. So, no danger armbar here, and Zalal's going to at least momentarily enjoy top position here. Yeah, and, and, and you know, th this is this is really a scramble type of fight. I mean, both these guys are incredibly athletic, really, really good in all positions, and, and you can expect to see a scramble out of two athletic guys like this. And great job with the balance and footwork by Zalal, yeah. but O'Brien has shown multiple times he's able to put this fight on the mat when he wants it there, and that's why he's continued with this pressure up against the cage. Zalal, good job shucking his arm free there, and back to the center of the cage we go. Zalal and really, oh, sorry. Big smile from O'Brien yeah, there. I saw that too. Zalal really one of the more dynamic guys in the state at this stage of his career. You know, it almost seems like there's nothing he can't do. And speaking of, I think he went for a jumping triangle choke there as he was being put back into the cage. Yeah. Knew that he was going to be planted on his back, so might as well try to get a submission on your way to the ground. So showing that mentally he's really in this game. Uh, does Zalal, but O'Brien again when it's on the mat. Not able to close out the fight, but definitely controlling the positional game. Listen, and, and, and that flying knee that Zalal landed would have shut the lights off on just about everybody else. Kudos to the, to the toughness shown by David O'Brien and the grit that he shows in these fights. I mean, we, we've just seen him exponentially get better and better every outing. So from this position, we've seen O'Brien score a belly-to-back suplex. We've seen Zalal drop down uh, for, oh, there's the belly-to-back. I was going to say drop down for a knee bar. So we're going to see who imposes their will here. And O'Brien going to try to bring the left leg through for the hook. He's going under the chin again. Has not had success with it yet. And this is a little bit of a cross face. Ten-second clacker sounded. I don't think O'Brien's going to get this closed out, even though it looks tight. Zalal just too good of a scrambler for that. Very, very good second round as well. Wow. Wow. These guys have a fight on their hands, that's for sure. Zalal doing a really nice job of negating any kind of uh, significant damage from the top position that O'Brien is, is throwing at him. And, and for O'Brien... He's really preventing Zalal from, from executing his game plan, too. He's really kind of controlling the bout, you know, from a, from a wrestling and grappling standpoint. And he's kind of been able to pin Zalal against the cage quite often. Zalal has shown that, that dynamic striking that we talked about, landing really, really good body kicks earlier, as well as flurrying with, you know, with right and left, left hands. This, is, this third and final round... Should be pretty interesting, although I got to tell you, I've got David O'Brien ahead two rounds to nothing. I do the same, Ron. It's just been the positional control. Yeah. Standing things are fairly equal. Uh, that jumping knee certainly landed well for Zalal, but on the mat, it's just been O'Brien controlling position, trying for the submissions. And Zalal looking like he was going to try to get tricky. O'Brien saying, I'll have none of it. I'm going for a high school double leg. And, and perfect one at that, too. He literally scooped up both of those legs and, and very, very sneaky and, and, and hidden very, very well. So outstanding takedown right there from David O'Brien. And not only to set it up, but to read what his opponent was doing That's and know right. that it was okay to do that. Having eaten a jumping knee earlier in the fight, you'd think that'd make him a little bit wary to close in and drop levels like that. But no, he knew he had the timing. So again, great job by the Trials MMA fighter. And, and again, he's doing an outstanding job of really avoiding any kind of danger and damage right now. 
you know, if you're if you're Yusuf Zalal, you you've basically got to get off the cage right now, and you've got to get this into a striking matchup because on the ground, David O'Brien has shown a, a, a better level of ground fighting right now. Yeah, Zalal's doing a good job trying to work his legs up and trying to control an arm, but O'Brien just saying, you know, you don't have anything down here that I haven't seen in the gym, and I have an answer for all of it. And so the corner is Zalal right now telling them they want him to bring it back to standing where he can put some of those dynamic moves back into play. And you're almost seeing David O'Brien with like a, a, a ground kick can opener going right now just or and, and he's looks like he's trying to set up almost either a darts or something but but Zalal doing a nice job of getting himself up on his feet off the cage now but there's that pressure from David O'Brien this kid is just a monster against the the cage and I'll tell you I'm amazed that Zalal was able to come to standing because O'Brien had him in a standing cradle position yep. so for Z Zalal to be able to get out of that and come back to standing is something else but one more time O'Brien working that takedown game just rips his opponent off the cage. You know, it speaks well of Zalal that it took him that long to be able to do it, but O'Brien just showing, hey, I've got the willpower and the skills to put this fight where I want it. And now hip pressure down and side control from O'Brien, and then he steps over nicely in the mount. What I really like about that step over there was he didn't flop his leg. Yep. He glued it to his opponent and slid it across because somebody with the athleticism of Zalal had you gone for a sloppy pass, was going to get a reversal, and O'Brien just didn't let that happen. Yeah, and, th and this is David O'Brien doing a really nice job of grinding out a fight. This is really where, uh, you know, a wrestling type of background, is, this is home for him. You know, this is what he does. And if he can come up on top here, he'd be able to stretch out uh, Zalal. Zalal trying to reach down for a foot, see if he can get an ankle pick and turn it into a toe hold. Not able to. Did, however, clear the hooks in order to get back to standing. So let's see what O'Brien's answer is for that. Tried to rip him off the cage. Zalal, wary of it, knew what was coming, splays his feet, gets the distance that he needs, and then digs the underhook. We've got less than 10 seconds, and both these guys are going to try to swing and get a finish here. There's the end of it. We're going to take it to the judges to tell us who the title winner is. Very, very good fight by two outstanding prospects coming up into the ranks here in Colorado. David O'Brien feeling pretty confident about that performance, and I agree with him, too. I, it, it feels like he kind of grinded out uh, a victory here against an, an unbelievably talented young fighter here in Yusuf Zalal. And, and make no mistake about it, win, lose, or draw, both of these guys are superstars here future superstars and these guys really are going to get a, a tremendous learning experience out of this type of fight and and you know for Yusuf Zalal I'm sure he's not exactly the happiest with this performance um, but it, it goes to show that the level of competition that he's fighting now is is really something uh, to behold and you know and, and, and I had a chance to speak with Chase Hackett one of his coaches you know backstage as well and and he said, look, you know, this kid is a hes a superstar. He really is. And, and I agree with him. He's got that X factor and that it factor that, that it really takes to make a superstar. I think it's just a matter of some more seasoning for him, and, and, uh, and he'll be fine. Would you recommend cumin, thyme, allspice as far as the seasoning? Uh, let's, go with, uh, let's go with some nutmeg. <laughs> I'm glad that you're such a culinary genius, by the way. <laughs> I watch like three cooking shows. A week? <laughs> you know, but l let's let's talk here about the uh, let's talk about the um, both camps. Both of these camps are just, you know, outstanding camps. And and you know, we talk about them being Colorado camps, but these guys really are national camps. And uh, Sean is just headed into the cage, so he's got the official announcement for us momentarily. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges through the about 29, 28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision and new 135 pounds for the Combat League champion.
in the cage with David. Get your belt, man. Get your belt. Talk to me about that belt. That's got to feel kind of good for you, Juan. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know, man. It felt feels awesome. I've, uh, I've worked really, really hard. Um, yeah, you know, the belt really isn't the most important thing. I just like winning fights. You did that tonight. You dominated that st fight from start to finish. Knowing you're going against a freak athlete like that, it's important to get the fight on the ground to look like. Oh, yeah, definitely, you know. He caught me with a couple good strikes. Um, I knew he was long and rangy. I've, I've seen the fight. I know he's a good kickboxer. He uses good angles. Commits two punches, but I was ready. Certainly were. What's next? Man, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> talk to my team. Talk to the fight. See what happens. Some people you want to thank for this belt? Absolutely. I want to thank my whole team. All my coaches, Ryan Schulcher, Hardy, everyone at the gym. You know, I've had tons of favors done for me. I've had a lot of help. Um, this isn't just me when it was not. I really do feel like this is my family, my team, everyone. But I want to thank my family. They're sitting over there. And it's hard to see them with this light in my eyes, but they're, uh, they've been really supportive as well. This is amazing, man. This is absolutely amazing. I don't even know. It's awesome. Congratulations. First of many of those things, I'm sure, for you. It's David O'Brien. It is part of Combat League Champion.